Welcome back. It's Total Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We have a very interesting conversation up next about one month to the official commencement of campaigns for Nigeria's presidential election and the National Assembly elections, uh, as well as um, the governorship elections around the country. Uh, the nation's electoral umpire, the Independent National Electoral Commission, has warned political parties and candidates against the use of masqueraders and public facilities as well as religious centers for campaigns. The commission asked political parties to align strictly with the provisions of the Electoral Act and avoid sanctions as stipulated by the Act. I make it fixed if you recall September 28, 2022. Um, that's some weeks from now for the commencement of the campaigns for the presidential and national assembly elections while the elections will hold in just uh, over 108, 70 days from now, uh, on February 25, 2023. Indeed, in recent weeks, we've seen different presidential candidates appear at different fora. Uh, but do some of their actions violate the Electoral Act? Uh, glad to see joining us this morning to provide uh, some analysis and discuss this all-important subject is Dr. Suraj Mohammed. He's a lecturer in uh, political science at Pyro University in Kano. Uh, Dr. Mohammed, thank you very much for your time and good morning to you. Yes, good morning indeed. All right. Um, what, what are your thoughts on, on Annex um, reminder to the political uh, politicians and the candidates ahead of the 2023 elections? In your opinion, um, do what some of them have done, does it constitute um, a violation of the Electoral Act? in terms of campaigning? Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, good morning, uh, everybody. Good morning, Nigerians. Uh, you see, uh, the, what INEC did, uh, I, I read, I think it was uh, uh, la la last year in August uh, 2021, uh, particularly during a uh, rerun election that took place uh, in, in Kaduna, when the, the, the chairman, as well as the National Commissioner Aina uh, Bota Education, uh, who was also the Chairman Committee, uh, Mr. Festus uh, Okoye, that uh, you know drew the attention of the you know uh, politicians to desist from uh, you know uh, campaigning in uh, religious uh, places as well as uh, other uh, public uh, places. Uh, specifically, you know, the uh, section of the Electoral Act, particularly section, uh, I think, uh, 92 of the uh, Electoral Act, has uh, categorically, you know, made it clear that uh, religious places and other public uh, places should not be used, you know, for political campaign. And this is due to the fact that... Uh, you know, considering the heterogeneous nature of Nigeria, uh, that uh, some politicians uh, usually hide under religious uh, inclinations, you know, uh, regional uh, issues uh, uh, and make a campaign. And that uh, seriously sometimes, you know, ignite, uh, uh, you know, a crisis uh, in the country. It uh, led to a division, a serious uh, political you know, conflict, uh, but uh, before the elections, during election, as well as uh, uh, after the, the the election. And I think even a recent example uh, was the, the 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 religious sermon, Jumat prayer sermon conducted by one imam at uh, the, the 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 at Abuja when he uh, kind of uh, made some serious statement about the government. And of course, the committee of that uh, mocks consider that as uh, a kind of, uh, of, 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 of uh, illegal and hence lead to his uh, suspension. And there and thereafter, uh, uh, he was also sacked by a name Sheikh, uh, I think, uh, uh, Nuru, if I could remember. So even during the classical period in the medieval time, Religious places actually were used or served as an instrument where governmental issues, uh, you know, are supposed to be discussed. For example, the mobilization of people, sensitization of people, and then uh, dialogue where people will be, you know, gather, discuss issues, you know, pertaining 
you know, uh, or affecting their societies, both politically, socially, culturally, economically, but not to be used as uh, a kind of uh, uh, campaign ground where clearly political parties will be quoted, names of candidates will be quoted. If that is applied, actually, that will not yield a positive, uh, uh, you know, result, particularly in societies like Nigeria. And can you hear me, please? Loud and clear, Dr. Dr. Mohammed. Yes, we can hear you. Yes. So uh, if you look at even the, the history, the history of, uh, of, of, of African societies or Nigeria in particular, you realize that, uh, yes, even before the coming of uh, European societies into uh, Nigeria, of course, there were such a uh, structure uh, in place. And because of its importance, even when the European societies came to Nigeria, they try and maintain such structure and use it for, you know, uh, to continue or to perpetuate their uh, a kind of, uh, of, of, of a colonial, you know, ambition without necessarily destroying such uh, 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 structures. Uh, if you take, for example, the northern Nigeria, where mostly the House of Planes were found, there were, of course, traditional uh, institutions uh, that are considered as religious. If you go to also the Western societies, the Yoruba, the Igbos, they all have similar, you know, uh, traditional uh, 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 structure, which up to day they are functioning. Uh, you, you understand? So actually, these are uh, places of worship. These are pl places where people are supposed to be called to order. These are places where people are supposed to be sensitized. These are places where people they are supposed to be mobilized to know their right, to know what's supposed to be, you know, uh, done. Particularly in an election period like this, it's not a matter of uh, identifying specifically who to vote, which political party to vote. Rather, it's a place where the attention of the, you know, general public should be called with the regard to the relevance of the election itself, how this election should be conducted. If you look at some uh, churches in Nigeria, even of recent, they a kind of uh, adopt a kind of uh, a strategy whereby worshippers are not allowed access to, you know, to the, to the premises of the church without, you know, showing there are, there are, there are permanent voter cut with them. That shows commitment. That shows seriousness. That shows, you know, uh, you know, the idea of uh, sensitization. That people should wake up. People should register with their, you know, their their permanent voter card. So that could be served as a political weapon of electing the right candidate, of electing the uh, the, 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 the kind of a uh, capable candidate who will represent them at a various level, either right. local, state, or federal. But they are not calling clearly, clearly, clearly political party or name of candidate. So actually what INEC did was a uh, right of uh, com uh, c coming up with this uh, uh, electoral, uh, you know, act of okay. that will ensure people are not allowed you know, to use public uh, places, yeah. religious yeah, places. That's true, right. you know, uh, move on, I just want to understand campaign. you. Yes. Yeah, just to understand you. Are you saying that those who are making political statements uh, or are talking about the 2023 elections, asking for um, uh, permanent voter cards as evidence before being allowed into places of worship, that these are violations of the Electoral Act as outlined by INEC, even in this recent statement by Festus Okoye, are you saying these people who are not candidates may be violating the Electoral Act? Is that what you're saying? Or you're saying that what they're doing is okay, just so we understand where you're coming from? I know. Uh, uh, of course, to me, to me, what they, what the, these churches are doing is, no, is, 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 is okay. There is not wrong because they do not come out and, you know, tell their followers, this is the person to vote. This is the political party to vote. Rather, they are trying to mobilize them. They are trying to educate them that, look, this is your right. This, this is your... Uh, I can you are you are legitimate right to vote for a candidate of uh, your choice. So therefore, without this permanent voter card, you cannot be able to elect the candidate. Considering the situation this country is 
Oh, in fact, it is everywhere. People are bitterly complaining about the serious situation, you know, the country is in. So therefore, the, 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 the wise one, or let me say the, 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 the leadership of various religious institutions are saying that, yes, people have uh, uh, a kind of, uh, have the, 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 the right to vote for a candidate of their choice. And that could not be possible without, you know, uh, having without possessing the permanent voter card, and therefore they have been, you know, always been a kind of uh, reminded to make sure they obtain their permanent voter card. But where the problem lies sometimes is for the religious leaders to a kind of uh, take one side. Taking one side, that is where the problem is. W what I mean by taking side is clearly identifying a particular political party, clearly identifying a particular candidate. That is why from the background I told you, uh, considering the heterogeneous nature of Nigeria, if religious institutions are being used as an avenue, as an instrument of campaign, actually it will not yield a positive result. Because remember, religious institutions just like you, the media, that your work is not only to broadcast, but rather to sensitize, to mobilize people. So therefore, this is also part and parcel of the responsibility of every religious institution, every religious leader, to make sure that people have been mobilized, have been sensitized, people have been called to do the right thing. So there is nothing wrong in that. After all, uh, you are in a political dispensation. You can, the, the law has uh, given you that right that liberty to voice out your opinion, to speak your mind, provided that uh, that your opinion could not Dr. In any way ignite any crisis. Yes. I'd, I'd like to ask you, do you think that uh, political parties have already started campaigning uh, before time? No, actually, if you look at uh, the situation on ground, one can say yes and one can say no. Because uh, uh, these people right now, they have started making some gathering, giving out certain items to people in the name of uh, uh, a kind of uh, incentives, in the names of uh, constituency, you know, project or whatever they, 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 they call it. And most of this uh, gathering that the political parties used to, either at their award level, at their uh, local level, constituency level, state level, you, the journalists, sometimes usually aid them in, you know, in, in, in making the campaign even without, you know, the, 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 the time. Because you, you usually, you know, broadcast what they have uh, distributed. You know, at the various uh, level, How? but uh, where the yes, can you hear me? How? Yes, if you look at, for example, uh, even I think uh, yesterday here in Kano, I I observed how some political parties were, you know, moving on the street. When I asked what happened. I was told that uh, it was one particular person that they come from another party to another party. But clearly, if you see the vehicles that they are moving in convoy with, and then the, 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 the moving bands, the sounds that are going on, the kind of songs that are going on, that clearly is a campaign, indirectly. No doubt about that. So, but INEC had uh, specified the time for this tight start, you know, of uh, political so, so, campaign. So, so, and, uh, Muslim, I, I want to bring some that, practical... Uh, yeah, Dr. Siraj Mohamed, sorry to interject. I want to bring some practical examples yes. to you. You've talked about convoy, procession. Yes. So let's start with um, the, 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 the one million march for Peter Obi that has been holding in different parts of the country. Yes. Uh, we can take one case yes. study um, and put Hackett over the weekend. Uh, yes. One help. Yes. Is, is that a, I don't know if you saw the pictures or the videos from the one million match. Mercy is, is laughing here. She's blushing. Um, th does that constitute a campaign? You know, waving Labour Party flags, you know, and, and they had you know, uh, uh, placards. Uh, uh, of, 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 course, of course, it constitutes a campaign. You see, campaign of political party does not necessarily mean even seeing people on the road carrying plaques, carrying, carrying their identity, carrying, wearing their pickup, 
wearing their T-shirt. Even that there are uh, radio programs that usually how uh, politicians sell their 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 candidates, sell their ideas uh, to, to 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 the electorate. It is also a campaign, and day by day you must see here the uh, some candidate either incumbent, either those who are contesting for the first time, they are making ki some kind of, uh, of, of either announcement, either they are making some kind of, uh, they have assisted a certain group of people, they have did this, they have done that, they but, have but yeah, done but, that. But, but Dr. Suraj, All there could be an argument be. made for, for this. For instance, I can see video uh, scenes from the Isaac Boro Park there uh, in Port Hackett. Um, it, 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 it could be said that the candidate is not there. Um, it could be beat uh, Peter or B or uh, Abola Metirubu or Rabi Musa Kwankwasu or Atiko Abubakar or Kachikudu maybe. It could be said that they are not there. They didn't go climb a stage and say, vote for me. In fact, when Tinubu went to Abeokuta and paid homage, went to visit um, uh, uh, President Lushego Basanjo at the Lushego Basanjo Presidential yeah. Library, he proceeded to go to the stadium. There was a crowd waiting for him uh, by, I was, I was, put together by a gentleman he referred to as a lady, and now people are calling him a lady of, of, of Ogun State. And the governor of Ogun State, it was a crowd. Yes. But when he climbed the stage, what Tinubu said was, I came to greet you. Um, I came to say, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I just came to greet you. And so he said, I greet you. You know, campaigns have not started yet, so I'm just greeting you. He, he, so um, that's one. The first point I was, I'm questioning have is, the candidates, when they are not there, like, you know, this one million match will be, Obi wasn't there. He didn't climb a stage to say anything. That's number one. Number two, in fora where the candidates are around, if they don't say, vote for me, for instance, now, maybe Ashwaju are in, in Ogun State. There was a crowd at the stadium. They were waving flags, APC flags everywhere. But he didn't say, vote for me. He just said, I came to greet you. Um, it shall be well with Nigeria. Full stop. Is that a campaign? Uh, of course, no doubt it is a campaign. It is a campaign. Uh, you see, even the gathering, they are wearing an identity that clearly shows this is a particular political party. This is a particular supporters of a particular candidate. So it is, a, it is also a campaign. I told you, campaign does not necessarily mean even this gathering does not necessarily be in this gathering. But the fact that uh, one million people, uh, you know, march on the street, wearing pickup, T-shirt, carrying posters, plug, and whatever, of course, it is a campaign. Because what is a campaign? A campaign is a process whereby party supporters or candidate supporters are going around or holding uh, a, a kind of posters or any identity of their candidate in order to showcase them, in order to a kind of uh, sell the candidate to the electorate. So this is a campaign but not the campaign that uh, people will climb a ladder, people will climb a drum and hold a kind of a loudspeaker and begin to call names. I am so, 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 so person contesting for the so, 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 so position. I'm there for calling you to vote for me. I'm there for calling you to vote for my party. Okay. Because I'm F going to finally, do this. Finally, and doc, this doc, and finally, please, because of time. And last case in point, the yes. NBA annual general conference yes. had a technical session and about uh, three uh, presidential candidates were there. Um, did they come? Sorry, come again. In I said, finally, the Nigeria Bar Association had its annual general conference just over the past week, and NBA. about three presidential yes. candidates were there. Did any of them campaign? Yes, from their statements, it was, did any of them campaign? No, I, I, actually, let me say, I didn't listen to that uh, uh, conference or that gathering, but. Uh, the fact that uh, the NBA, uh, you know, either invited those candidates does not does not necessarily mean they want to campaign for them. And you, you call them three of them at 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 one one time. So inviting you cannot invite three people at once in the presence of every one of them, and then you call that uh, like a kind of a campaign. It could be an interaction whereby the the since that they are expert in law, probably they wanted to guide them and show them what they're supposed to do within the confine of the rules, within the confine of the law. Because uh, had it been I watched, I, I could have deducted something and then, you know, uh, uh, said my own opinion. But to my understanding, probably if NBA invited some candidate, not only one, three of them at once, so that could not be termed 
as a you know a kind of a making campaign rather probably they could be trying to show them that this is what the law says Dr. this is Suraji where Mohammed, we have to, to go, go now because we're out, out of time uh, thank you so much. I mean, uh, yes. we hope that we have some other time to talk about this. But really, if the I, Electoral I, I, Act I, I, is yeah. not stipulated, this because, uh, you know, the argument or the warning is that political uh, politicians should not be engaged in poli politicking. And this has not been, you know, made somehow as an issue, you know, in the law. I don't think that it might be an issue because the law has not said, you know, people cannot go out and troop out their support and say, hey, well, what's it? Are you arguing with, with the expert <laughs> but, but I understand. he's a lecturer in political science and he says it's a campaign? <laughs> no, no, I thought, we totally I understand. Know, but you, you know in this part of the climate where we talk is, about is it because what the law has not said. Because one million man march? Oh, well, not necessarily. We have to go now. Thank you so much for being part of the show. Thank you, Dr. Siraj Mohammed. Yes, we'll be right back. And thank you for the delay of, uh, for joining you. Uh, please, at, it's all right. uh, you know, delay. As, uh, it's you know, okay. We very... appreciate your time, sir. Thank you so much. Kofi, I wish we had more time to talk about this, but we need to go. We take a break now. When we return, it will be time to look at our second conversation. Please stay with us.